here is a physics quiz. So there's a bunch of problems that are a lot like this. Uh, I made this one up. Um, so let's just get to it. So the, the idea is you have one of these. They do make these. I'm making, not making them. There's this toy called a flying pig. And you put it on a string and you hang it from the ceiling and it flies around the circle like that. It's kind of cool. Um, I actually don't have one. I need to get one. Uh, but it could be anything. It doesn't even have to be powered. It could be like a ball swinging around a string or whatever. So th in this case, I have it hooked up to a sensor at the top that measures the tension in the string. Uh, so the tension is reading 5 newtons. The mass of the pig is 250 grams, which may seem a little high, but that's fine. Just let's just work with it. And the length of the string is 15 centimeters. So the, the qu I, I came up with two questions. What's the period? How long does it take to move around in a circle? And number two, how fast is it moving? Okay, let's start this off uh, by drawing a force diagram. I'm going to redraw. I'm going to draw the circle. Oh, I need a new pen. How about this one? So there's my circle. There's my pig. There's the center of the circle. Uh, and then here is my string like that. Okay, so what forces are acting on the pig? Well, there's only two forces acting on the pig. The downward gravitational force, uh, I'll call that mg, and then the tension in the string this way. I'll call that t. And you can see that these forces cannot add up to zero because they're not in opposite direction. So the, the total force is not zero, and this object is not at rest. And in fact, it's moving in a circle, even at a constant speed, that would have an acceleration. So let's call this the xy direction. That's x and that's y. So it's going to be accelerating towards the center of the circle. And remember that if an object's moving in a circle, the acceleration magnitude is going to be equal to the velocity squared over the radius of the circle, which is equal to omega squared times the radius. Those are the same thing. So I can either deal with this in terms of the angular velocity or the actual velocity. Uh, the direction of the acceleration is towards the center of the circle. So that'd be this way. Okay, so let's write two equations for the net force. One of the things, if this is a horizontal circle, then the acceleration in the vertical direction is zero. So I can write F net y, the y acceleration has to be equal to zero. And so that's gonna be the y component of the tension. Well, here's my string. Let's just call this angle theta. So this angle is also theta. So only part of that t is pulling in the y direction. So it's gonna be t cosine theta minus mg equals zero. Uh, and I don't really know, I, d that doesn't really help me here, right? I'm using t as the tension. I already know that value. I don't know theta. I could actually solve for theta, but I don't really care about theta really at this point. So let's just leave that alone. Let's do the y, the x direction now. F net in the x direction. Well, there's only one force that acts in the x direction. And that's part of this tension. So it'd be, this is the x component right there for this triangle. So if this is the tension and that's the angle theta, this would be t sine theta. So I get negative t sine theta. And you'll notice that it's negative because I defined x axis this way, just based on the way I drew my picture, the acceleration would be this way. And that's going to be equal to the mass times acceleration, which is also in the negative x direction. So it's going to be negative m. And then the acceleration, let's use this one right here, uh, omega squared r. Now here, I know the length of the string, but I don't care about that. I care about this distance r. And so if I have that angle theta right there, and this is the length L, then this would be the opposite side of that triangle. So R equals L sine theta. So if I take the hypotenuse, multiply by the sine of theta, I get the opposite side, so that's that. So if I put that in for R, I get the following equation. And the, the negative signs cancel. T sine theta equals M omega squared r, which is L sine theta. And something magic happens here. Those cancel. That's nice, right? Okay, so now I can take this and solve for omega. So let me do that up here. So I have T equals M omega squared L. 
and you can't see that. And now I can solve for omega. Omega equals the square root of t over m times l. Let's just check and see if that has the right units. This would be in radians per second. This is in newtons per kilogram divided by kilogram, I mean newtons, which is a kilogram meter per second squared divided by kilograms gives me a meter per second squared, but then I divide it by the meter. So I get one over second squared, take the square root, I get one over seconds, which is the same as radians per second. So that's good. Uh, so now I also can say the period is the time for it to take, uh, well, let's say it this way, it makes more sense. Omega is the rotation rate. So that's the, uh, the distance that goes around, which would be two pi, divided by how long that takes, which is the period. I'm gonna use P for the period because I'm using T for tension. So in that case, the period is gonna be two pi over omega. So that's gonna be equal to uh, two pi divided by that. So two pi times the square root of M L over T. So I can put in my numbers, two pi. The mass is 250 grams, so 0 0.25 kilograms. I'll leave off my units. The length is, is 15 centimeters, which is 0 0.15 meters, and then five newtons. So I actually have, I do have a calculator right here. Let's do it the old fashioned way with the actual calculator, which I don't know where that calculator is, but okay, put it right there. You can see it right there. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the, uh, I can do it all at one time. Two times pi, there is a pi button on here, I thought. I know there's a pi button, can't see. Pi, where's pi? Okay, that's fine. 3.14, do it the old way, times the square root, 0.25 times 0.15 divided by five, close parentheses, and I get point five four three seconds. So it's going pretty fast. It only takes half a second to go around. That's fine. Okay. Now I want to find the speed, V. Uh, if I look at my circle here, right there, I can find the linear speed based on the angular velocity, which, which I have, right? I have the angular velocity. So I can say V equals omega times R, but I don't know R. I could say V equals omega times R, which is L sine theta, but I don't have theta. Okay, so now you can see where this is useful. If I go back to my y equation, I have that and I can solve for theta. So in the y direction, I had t cosine theta equals mg cosine theta equals mg over t. So theta equals, uh, I guess I should do this the, the good way or the not good way. Hmm, I'm not sure. So cosine theta, uh, theta is gonna be the inverse cosine of m g over t. So let's do that. Let's just do it that way. If I could just, I don't actually, let's just do it that way. And then the velocity is just gonna be uh, that. So let's find theta. So I'm in degrees, which is fine. Um, so I'm gonna say the mass, so I'm gonna say inverse cosine. Uh, and then I'm gonna say the mass, 0.25 times 9.8 divided by five, enter. And I get, what's that? 60.7, let's say that. Theta equals 60.7 degrees. Now I can go over here and I can say V equals the square root of T over ML times L times sine of theta. Now in this case, actually, uh, if I bring that in, I get an L squared. So it's actually gonna be the square root of T L over M times sine theta. Okay, so let's do the sine theta for part first. So I have that number, I can just say sine equal, no. Okay, sine, I don't know how to do that. Recall? No, okay, that's fine. Okay, let's just do it as this, the square root, 
No, I don't want to do that. Clear, clear, clear. Square root of t, which is 5, times the, the length 0.15, divided by the mass 0.25, close parentheses, times sine of 60.7. And I get 1.5 meters per second. 1.51. There. Done. And that's the swing pig problem. You know, I kind of feel like one of the things I want to do right now is to make a, a, a visual model of this. Uh, but I, if I do that, I'll make that in a new program. So that's that.